Parker was getting it in. Be love, Parker. <laughs> Six and now games are make 20 or more free throws. Nice. Third straight year with a top 25 victory. Coach will take an opening statement after the Texas Tech's 68 64 victory over number 25. What a great win for our team and for our program and for our community and for our fans. And I can't thank our fans enough for the atmosphere that they created tonight. And and I just uh, want to encourage them to continue to come out. These girls are going to fight. They're going to fight for 40, and they are going to um, compete with anybody in the country. And uh, because of them, I think, um, showing up tonight, I think that certainly put us over and, and made us uh, really dig deep and find a way to win. And I'm just proud of these kids and their composure. They had such great poise and composure, um, determination. You know, they were outsized at times, and that didn't matter. Um, you know, we, we broke just some, had some broken plays at times, and we still find a way to get to the, to the free throw line. Um, but they just executed the game, plan, oh, excuse me, game plan to a T, and um, everybody performed their roles. Uh, whatever we ask them to do, they're being, they're all being so selfless right now. It's, it's fantastic. And uh, I'm just super proud of them. And I'm just so happy that we got a win like that on our home court. Cause they've been playing like this. They've just been doing it on the road. <laughs> <laughs> For both of you, what did you see that was working best for you, and how did it feel to, you know, 5-0 start, Texas comes back with a run, and then you come back with a 11-0 run in the second quarter to really put them on their heels? Um, I think we just stuck to our game plan. Um, we didn't get sped up. We didn't really try to do anything outside of our system once again, and so I feel like that's how we was able to get our easy buckets and then execute on the defensive end as well. Um, I think we all just really played within our system again and within did things that we know are our strong suits and we was able to come out with a win. I feel like we definitely played for each other. We played within ourselves. <coughs> um, we definitely stuck to the game plan, which has been really important. Our defense is what helped us so much on offense. Without that defense, we wouldn't have been able to get those transition points, run the floor, and all of that. So I'm really proud of my team for that. And what does it mean for both of you to get this top 25 win for your coach? <laughs> Um, it means a lot for our fans and for our um, team. Like, we've been working hard, like they said. Um, and we just haven't been able to get one at home. We finally got one at home in front of our fans. And that's what it's all about. We play for them. We play for each other. And we just encourage you guys to keep coming out, keep supporting us. Very much so. Uh, we <laughs> encourage you guys to keep coming out. This is a big win <clears throat> for us. Um, we are very happy with those that have supported us through it all, even without those home wins at first. We're very glad we got this this one. And so we're just, I'm proud to be playing for such an amazing coach. Aww. <laughs> we, we got her back always. Sex. What has Kyla provided the team the past two games, you know, her first kind of opportunity to play extended minutes? Her energy. Her grit, her toughness, her ability to rebound the ball, to run the floor, get easy dump offs, putbacks. She brings everything that we need. Um, she plays within herself. She's very unselfish, and she just wants to learn and continue to grow and get better. And so someone like that, you love to see them have so much success this early because you can only imagine what she's going to do when she's a senior. <laughs> she's only a freshman. <laughs> so for her to do this, a top 25 team, so proud of her. This is a big moment for her. I want her to enjoy it and know that we are so proud of her. Thanks, Breezy. Kind of along the same lines, you know, getting the opportunities past two games, just how are you able to take advantage of that? Um, my team has been such a big support for me. As Bree said, I always want to learn and become better. So having their support and them pushing me all the time and, a, and our coaching staff that's constantly working with me, it's been really amazing. So I knew once I got my opportunity, I would just have to put forth what they've shown me and stay within myself and do what I do best, which is rebounding and running the floor. How many, how many times did you come in and watch film this week? 
four times. <laughs> As a freshman on her own. On her own. <laughs> You've really been on a scoring tear these past few games. What has been the, the biggest reason for that? Um, I don't know. I wouldn't say the biggest reason. I don't really know, honestly. Um, I just go out there and just play hard, give it all I got every time. Um, if we're going to lose, I'm going to have to be okay with that as long as I know I played hard and gave it my all. And so I think me and my teammates are just out there fighting and fighting and giving it our all. We're doing it for each other because we love each other. And that is the key part. This team is so close, Very honestly. True. If we wasn't close, this would not be happy. We wouldn't be happy for each other. We wouldn't go out there and celebrate the way we did, but we love each other and we do it for our teammates. So that's, that's, that's all I can say. I'm just enjoying my last year and embracing it with my teammates. Truly embracing it. I'm proud of you for these last games. <laughs> Thank you. Um, talking about sticking to y'all's game plan, Texas averages 40 points in the paint per game. You guys, with that zone defense, was that the difference maker for you guys that really forced them to shoot the three ball tonight? <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> <Literally>. <laughs> they score all their points in transition off getting steals and then, like you said, in the paint. And so we just wanted to keep them out of the paint. Their dribble drop offense, we didn't allow them to get into that tonight. And so they had to, if they were going to beat us, they had to do it from the three point line. And I feel like we really executed our game plan and stayed with it the entire game. That's very true. We really pushed ourselves out of our comfort zone. We often run man defense, but I feel like sticking to staying with that zone is what helped us be so much better against them today and just push ourselves to keep them outside of their comfort zone, which made it so much easier for us to get those transitions. And with the physicality from both teams tonight and the way that you guys represented Big 12 women's basketball. With a game like that, is this, a, this game a good representation of how competitive this conference is and how this is one of the better basketball conferences for, the, uh, for women's basketball? Absolutely. Um, anybody can lose on any given night. This conference is wide open. Um, Texas beat Iowa State. <laughs> we lost to Iowa State. But then we come back and beat Texas, you know. And so this conference is just wide open. There's a lot of talent. There's a lot of um, good teams in here, top 25 teams. And so every night it's going to be a battle. And so we just know that, and we come out with this, we have to come out with the same intensity and same energy every game and fight till the end. Do you have anything else for Gigi Mathis? Come on, Kyla, when you made that shot with like a minute or so left. <laughs> And to put y'all up by three, and the crowd just went absolutely crazy. Like, how did that feel? <laughs> Honestly, it felt amazing knowing I have so much support from so many people and knowing that the work that I've been putting in to make these crazy shots and within this crowd is just, it's an amazing feeling. And just knowing that my team trusts me enough to let me shoot the shot is really great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Shout out to Coach Gurley, man. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she took the water. <laughs> we talked about you wanted to keep the bigs out of play, and you kept the, the Texas bigs out of play, even got one to foul out. What does that say about what this team has built from the beginning of the season to today? Yeah, I think, um, you know, I think everyone is just really accepting their roles and they're doing whatever it is we need per game, you know, for each game. So this particular game, right, we, we needed to neutralize their, their bigs and try to take them out of it a little bit. And so we, we used every post player we had um, at, at some, in some form or fashion. Um, but I just feel like our kids are just really embracing the team, the team, you know, of trying to win a game and not worrying about themselves so much. And that takes a while to get to that point. But I'm just super proud of just how they've um, really rallied around the coaches and the game plan and each other. And, and they're doing whatever we're asking them to do right now. And how does it feel to have 11 steals and making Texas turn it over more than you guys did tonight? Yeah, that's fantastic. Um, you know, I, th I think our kids just play really hard. Um, you know, I think they – 
They uh, they didn't let a turnover or did, they didn't let something bad that that happened to them make them make another bad mistake. Sometimes they turned it into a positive by getting a steal or jumping a passing lane. But I I thought that they handled their pressure really really well all night long. And as the game is starting to tighten up, you seem to want to have them to have fun and, and you know get loose with the the, the last couple last couple possessions and, and just kind of have fun and enjoy it yeah I think I think they just were so great about finishing you know I, right before the fourth quarter started Bailey Maupin poked her head in our, our huddle and said remember they have great fourth quarters and everybody said finish like let's you know, let's let's win the war right we were tr we were winning the battles along the way but then it was like let's win the war and we knew that they were going to come after us in the press we knew that they were going to try to push it in transition and um, we knew they were going to try to pound it inside all in that fourth quarter like come at us even harder and I thought our kids just really were resilient and and continued to get to the free throw line we kept attacking to get to the free throw line that's been a huge piece of our puzzle here lately um, coach you mentioned that you were part of the 91 team that made history against Texas for you now being a coach of this team how from looking from that point of view how awesome is it to continue seeing this team and this program make history against such a great rivalry yeah I mean it's just it's it's a great rivalry it's um you know I do remember when it was 37 and oh you know we had never beaten them before and so now to be coaching a team and and us um, and having the opportunity for our girls to beat them back I just love that they're understanding the tradition that understanding the rivalry they're understanding the responsibility of being a lady raider and and how exciting it can be and just like even asking kyla what it was like when she hit that bucket you know and the crowd went wild like they're experiencing what it's about being the lady raider and what lady raider nation is all about and how great texas tech supports their women's basketball and um and that, and that all started back in the day, right, when we started beating people like Texas and we started winning um, and, and competing at a high level. And then these uh, players finding their role on this team. Big Cat didn't have any points tonight, but, you know, four assists. She was setting up her teammates for success. Do you think she's found this new role of leadership over the past couple of games for her? Yeah, I think she's – definitely, absolutely. I think that she's understanding that – and I really think she was the X factor in the game, to be quite honest, because she could handle that press for us because she's technically a point guard. In high school, that's what she played. And, um, you know, we're asking her to guard bigs, and we're asking her to break the press, and then we're asking her to, to find um, – you know, find find great passing lanes to be able to create um, great scoring opportunities for her teammates. And she's just doing all of those things. And I will say that a couple of things that she did tonight, um, she had a huge steal late for us and a, a, a huge offensive rebound. And she had a huge block shot that was just – game changing for us you know it just sends a message and those are plays that don't show up as well on a stat sheet um <clears throat> but she just prides herself in and I'm so glad she's here coach are you pleased with the rate uh, that the girls got to the free throw line tonight absolutely yeah it's, if we can get there um you know <clears throat> several times a quarter it certainly helps us and, and our kids are starting to even pay attention to that like normally we have a coach on the bench that says hey you know next foul we're shooting the whole way but tonight it was the players saying we're shooting the whole way like continue to attack we're going to get to the free throw line and our kids have been really good at the free throw line lately and just taking a lot of a lot of pressure and and handling that and um and knocking down free throws and, and that's the name of the game and Looking forward to po like postseason tournaments, will you look back at this game and say this win like helped us for the long run? Well, there's no doubt that it'll help us, right? I mean, it's it's going to be a, a continual battle, and I feel like every game in the Big 12 will help us. So, um, you know, we just need to keep um, keep our foot on the pedal. Um, you know, keep preparing. Don't take anybody lightly, and and don't get complacent. And I don't think these kids are going to do that. Coach, the way y'all finished, especially, you know, a week ago, you said you let it slip away in the fourth mm -hmm. quarter. Do you feel like <clears throat> this is the kind of game that can show that they turned a corner? No doubt. Absolutely no doubt. They they were upset with themselves for letting that game slip away because even in the non-conference, we, we finished out some games and came from behind even and, and finished them and, and won them. And so I think they learned from those experiences and then they let one slip away and in conference and, and they, that bothers them, especially on their home court. So I think this game certainly will help them um, move forward and, and uh, continue to, to re I guess, rely on that experience. <clears throat> Thank you guys very much. That was fun.